everyone, welcome back Super Mums. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at why you really need to know who you are and how you can go about finding the person that you want to be. So if you know me or have been following me for a while, you will understand that I am hot on this one. I think this is so mega important in so many areas of your life. Like I I just, I can't quite fathom how I personally went through life for so long without thinking about these kind of things and how other people, now I'm like, you don't know about this? You don't know how important this is? You haven't like assessed yourself or like planned out your values or like I just I, I'm like I'm like speechless and then I'm like oh actually wait a minute I didn't do this for quite a while and it was it was pretty disastrous. So now I am pretty hot on it and I'm gonna share it with you lovely people. So this concept can be approached in a number of different ways. One of my favourite ones is rules for life. Now Rules for Life is an idea that came from the Gretchen Rubin books and all her main shiz was. I am like secretly in love with Gretchen Rubin, clearly. Um, she would be one of the few people that I would get excited over like meeting in person. J-Lo, what's it, George Clooney, nothing. I'd be pretty stoked to meet Gretchen. Anyway, she talks about these, these rules for life and she does rules for adulthood as well. Um, and my number one rule for life is know thyself. I think knowing thyself shapes everything else you do for good, like in, in a good way. These are like essentials, I guess, to having the life you want and being the person you want to be and going to bed contented. Like, if you don't know thyself, thyself is gonna float out the window and you're gonna be living this like life here and thyself will be somewhere else. It's just not. So you may have caught a similar concept to this in last month's content, which was on saving time, which was about knowing your priorities. And that kind of overlaps with this as well. It's not just your priorities, it's your values, it's, knowing who you are now, where you want to be, and, and kind of looking at what you need to do to get there. These are all really important things to your every day-to-day -day life. And I've had people suddenly look at their values and priorities and realize that their life is completely not in line with what resonates with them and what's authentic to them. And I love these words, things like resonate and, and authentic because in the end, we are not gonna be happy and fulfilled if we're not doing a life that aligns with these things. I hope that makes sense. I'm kind of trying to drum home here how important it is to do these things because they shape everything. They'll shape the hobbies you have, the friends you have, the job you want to do, how you raise your kids, how you act with your partner, with your family. Like, what you literally do with every second of your day is influenced by knowing these things. Like, that's a biggie. That's a big, big, biggie, biggie, big, big, biggie, biggie, biggie. One of the other mega parts to this is not only creating the life you do want, it's getting rid of the life you don't want and being able to cut off bad things and notice them like, Sometimes things happen and yes, they do eat up some of your time and then you're like, oh, why did I let it go on that long? But the more you get to know yourself and the more you get to know what's important to you, your values, your priorities, etc., etc., the quicker you can cut off the, the bad shiz was. Um, I recently got up after a starter and left the meal because I realized that someone that was with us was just, I was done. I was not willing to have that in my life anymore. It was the like the fourth time that, that she'd been horrible to me. And I was just like, I'm done. I don't have a vested interest in maintaining this friendship. Like sometimes some relationships are worth putting a bit more effort into. This was not one of them and I'm like, no, I'm done, my time, my life is way more important to me and I got up and left at the starter. And had you caught me like even like 
maybe like two years ago, I'd have sat through that entire meal and like played nice and I probably would have let it go on for maybe a couple more meals in the future or a couple more like meetups and been like, oh, I've wasted so much time on this person. And I still feel like I've wasted a certain amount of time on this person, but it's nowhere near as bad as it would have been before I really sort of assess myself and what's important to me. And I was able to come to the conclusion much, much quicker, knowing myself better, come to the conclusion much, much quicker that this isn't something I wanted. And that's awesome. Like how much time have I saved? How much of my life will be so much better because I am able to like cut off the dead weight. It sounds a bit mean, but in the end, this is your life. It's about what's important to you and you living your life to the fullest. It's time to get a little bit selfish here and look after yourself. And sometimes that means cutting off bad things, bad people, like toxic people, toxic things out of your life. And, and things that, things can be, what's toxic to you isn't always toxic to another person, key to remember, but it can be odd things that are toxic to you. It might be that you, it might be something as big as you hate which county you live in. I had this, I realized that where I was living was not what, where I wanted to be. It didn't fit with me. It was turning me into someone I didn't want to be. And for me, that place was toxic. Whereas for someone else, that place would be absolute paradise. So it's kind of like, don't feel like you're judging other people by deciding that something is toxic because that is just a waste of time. Like, a waste of time. So you're probably sitting there going, yes, but how do I come to this like massive epiphany? Well, I'm really sorry. It's going to take a little bit of time and it's probably going to take a little bit of effort, but it will build over time. So you will notice the difference even when you take like the little steps, the little steps will build up and it will help. I have created a short course which you get via email. I will pop the link down below. If you click, it's called The Secret to Being a Super Mum. You sign up there and it'll take you through step by step to help you learn your values and your priorities as a mum and as a person in general. There is so much more work you can do on this. There are, I just, I feel like every self-development book you do or read and implement will help you with this. So if you're a self-development book lover like me, then you will constantly be learning more about yourself. But even if you just give yourself like a couple of minutes at the end of each day and be like, what did I enjoy today? What didn't I enjoy today? I mean, I've been working on this for a while now and even down to things like my clothes. I kept going, oh, I've got a lot of this certain blue in my wardrobe, but actually realized, because I really like that blue. There is nothing wrong with that. Know thyself, thyself likes that shade of blue. In fact, thyself likes this shade of blue. This shade of blue is really pretty. I have a couple of dresses, a couple of tops in this shade of blue. I think this shade of blue is beautiful. So now when I go into shops, I can be like, I need a dress that makes me feel really special. And I can spot this shade of blue across the room and be like, well, I'm gonna try that on first, clearly, because know thyself, thyself likes this shade of blue. So I'm afraid there's no like absolute quick fix. Do the course, that is a really good foundation and you will find that you're learning so much more about yourself just from that. And then commit to 90 seconds, 90 seconds a day, just to think back over your day, what did you like? keep a pen and paper by the bed and like jot them down and start building up a real picture of who you are and what matters to you. It can be quite daunting when you suddenly look at your life and realize there's lots of bits you don't like, but trust me, once they're gone, it is amazing. Amazing, totally amazing, amazing. So I hope you have found that helpful. I really look forward to connecting with you on this amazing journey through motherhood. And remember, being a super mum is all about being the mum that you want to be. Remember, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications to never miss out on a video again. So, 
if you know me or you've been following me for a while, you will know I am hot on this one. There's the siren thing going on. 